everybody to the Gl Phoenix and Glitchy Talk Shit sh uh, video, channel, whatever. We're talking about sci-fi shows right now, and uh, uh, Phoenix is going to bring up Scare Tactics. Yeah, so um, in the previous video, it was Glitchy's birthday video. Um, yeah. We kind of oh, got off on a This can change. also be our fandom video. Yes, it does. Um, so we're going to start off with sci-fi, go as far into it, this tangent as we can go. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still trying first, to find that fucking show. The first, before I go into scare tactics, um, Olympus is just finishing its first season. It's kind of cheesy, but anybody that knows me will know that I really like great mythology. So I had to give it a watch, and I kind of like it. It starts off kind of slow, but I kind of like it. Um, now, scare tactics. Wait, I didn't mm. know there was a Neverland show. Yeah, it was for a short while, I think. Yeah, only in 2011. I didn't watch it. only had it. one fucking episode. It was probably like a, um... Like a two-hour episode, or like a, uh... Like a actual, like, sci-fi original movie or something. Nah, it says it had part one, but YouTube has part one and two. Oh. Um, anyhow... So, my favorite episode of Scare Tactics, mm. they set this thing up to where this guy and his girlfriend were going out on, like, a date of some sort. Mm. And the guy had set it up to prank his girlfriend. Mm. And they had it to where they were driving out into this open field, and it seemed like these aliens were coming out, of, you know, of the sky kind of thing. Mm. God. Well, to prank his girlfriend, the guy acts like he's fucking freaked out as fuck, mm. climbs over her to get out of the car. What the fuck? It was the most fucking hilarious thing ever. She's like, oh my god, protect me. And he just climbs over and just nopes out of there. He's just, like, nope. He just and it, right off. And it was just the greatest thing ever. Um... As far as other sci-fi shows that are interesting, Haven was good. I haven't seen the most recent season. I have not even heard of it. Um, it's actually based on um, Stephen King. Mm. Um, it's based on a short story by Stephen King, I should say. Um, and then, let's see, Warehouse 13 is good. I'm, I'm I enjoyed it. Find out what the fuck that show was. Um, Warehouse 13 recently ended. Only recently? Yeah, it was like last year, I think. Um, the second half of the final season of Lost Girl is going to air in 2016. I'm waiting for that. Um, because Lost Girl is really good if you haven't seen it. It's good. Yeah, it does kind of kind of drops off, but it has gotten better in the most recent season. Yeah. Um, now, is there any other ones you want to add before we go into the fandom territory? Um. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, I know one of them was. I can't. I I liked. Stargate Universe. Just the original, the original Stargate uh, SG One and Stargate Atlantis are better. Oh wait, no, hold on. much better. I think I said the wrong one. Stargate Universe. <laughs> Universe is the one that you liked with uh, Doctor Rush. Yeah, Doctor Rush, Nicholas Rush, played by yeah. Carlisle. I pretty much didn't give a flying fuck about the rest of the cast because it was all. A ridiculous soap opera of who fucked who. Oh god, I've had I had a baby when I was sixteen. The girl didn't tell me she was knocked up. Blah blah blah. Now and my dad I will dead, and I'm a rich, abandoned little girl in the world. Now I I will give you a disclaimer here. Stargate Universe I'm a is person, but... Stargate Universe is actually a joke among the fans of the Stargate community. Well, I wonder why. Because the original series, 
the original series Stargate SG-1, which is based on the Stargate movie, mm -hmm. um, oh, I thought the is Stargate actually movie came after. No, actually, it came first, and the Sci-Fi Channel made a TV series from it, um, and it was probably one of the best, in my opinion, Firefly. Firefly Sci-Fi shows. An amazing show. Um, and it had ten seasons of, I think, um, SG-1 did, and then they did a spinoff, um, and then they did a spinoff called Stargate Atlantis. Which I would watch um, it just because, uh, Jason Momoa is in it. Yeah, and he's good in it. Um, it didn't last as long as SG-1 did. Mm. Um, but then, after Atlantis kind of, um, they did Stargate Universe, and they tried to make Dollhouse Stargate Universe. Oh yeah, that was actually I don't know if I've seen that one. Being human was good for a little while, but then it just kind of got real stupid, and I couldn't finish it. I haven't watched it yet because I'm kind of picky about shows that have started in Britain and then were adapted in no, the U.S. No, uh, go for the British one, the BBC one. Yeah. Definitely do not go for the American one, because for one thing, the actors are completely different, and for another, they change um, so much shit around. So there were ten seasons of the original SG-1, mm -hmm. as I thought. I just looked it up, mm -hmm. actually. Um, and then they did two movies with the same cast afterward. Mm -hmm. um, they were kind of like made-for-TV movies. They, they actually aired them. On TV, and then they right, 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 right. Did, they did DVDs of them later, um, and then Stargate Atlantis only had five seasons, and then they did Stargate Universe. And Stargate <laughs> Universe, <laughs> you want to talk about a fucking show? Talk about Lex. Oh my god, I don't remember that show. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was so old, so bad. Um, the goal for Stargate Universe was to make a Stargate series that wasn't dependent on the mythology set up in the other movie or other shows. I'm not gonna lie and though, then, some of the shit that I've seen, you know, some of the technology and lore and stuff I've seen in, you know, the Stargate series is pretty fucking like intense. Like the communication stones for one thing. Yeah, and the reason that it didn't do very well is because in trying to do something that diverted from the mythology, they made a shitty soap opera. They did. They made a shitty soap opera that was... <sighs> and... Basically... It didn't do very well because... Nobody liked it really. The cat there was parts of the cast that were interesting. There was ideas that they had that were interesting. But instead of exploring new worlds and exploring you know, new races and things like that, which is what made Stargate SG one and Atlantis so great. Um, in Stargate uh universe they do start exploring a set of different um a different race there and there's a few different races that you come across like the sand creature things that absorb water well yeah they do but it's not as um it's not nearly as intensive as the other ones and i literally like i said i only got into the show because robert carlisle's in it and i was desperate and you know thirsty for some fucking shit with him in it you know and then at, at one point they like basically take him out and the f oh my god i literally sat and filled an entire notebook off of all my complaints and all my fucking thoughts on the first i didn't even make it through the first season all the way well it was only it was universe it was only one season because oh, it there? yeah because fans of the stargate series were like fuck you and your shitty ass show were done and yeah, I didn't even um, I didn't even watch the finale of it. I managed to like 
watch the first. No, Stargate Universe got three seasons. Did it? At least. Oh no, it did, um... It did two seasons. What it was, was the first season was eh. And then they announced a second season of 20 episodes. Yeah, and after the, the first season. 10... After the first 10 episodes of the second season were aired, the show got cancelled. Oh, well... Sorry. And then the last 10 were shown. Mm. Well, like I said, I think... Like, I, I know I definitely didn't make it all the way through season 1. And... You didn't miss nothing. <laughs> I basically kind of got to the part where they chucked, you know... Robert Carlyle's character off the show, like, and stuck him on a planet. I think they actually go back and get him later. I think so too, and I, it was hinted that they were gonna go back and get him, but I just kind of, you know, I was just kind of like, I'm not gonna sit through, I don't know how many episodes without the only fucking reason I was watching the show in it. Um. Because seriously, Chloe Armstrong, the daughter of the governor guy or whatever he was, the politician that got, they, he sacrificed himself. I'm sorry, no. A politician isn't gonna sit there and fucking sacrifice themselves, no matter what. So you can go fuck yourself on that one. Plus, the chubby kid who was, uh, supposedly cracked the code and shit and whatnot, which, holy shitballs, David Blue, who played Eli Wallace, which was the fat gamer guy, he has, like, thinned down and buffed up quite a bit. And oh, also, can I just say, Richard Dean Anderson is in, like, every single motherfucking Stargate ever. Along with, um, what is the guy's name? Um, the dude that wore the glasses. I don't know, whatever. Um, literally, the, the cast of characters in this was so fucking stupid and so fucking pathetic and so stress inducing that I literally had to fill an entire notebook. I'm pretty sure I still have a fucking notebook around here somewhere. I literally had to fill an entire notebook with my frustrations, otherwise I was going to start screaming and tearing my house apart. That is how badly I was completely pissed off with that show. And one of the things that really pissed me off was the fact that they continuously, over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, doubted Dr. Rush because he didn't seem very caring and blah blah blah. I'm sorry, he's a doctor, goddammit. Um, he's a m scientific doctor. He's not there to bandage your boo-boos and fucking kiss your bruises and whatever. He's not there to placate you. He's there to get shit done, survive, and fix shit. And that's what he was doing. And that, that honestly prompted a fan fiction of mine where I had a character who just like basically bitched the ever-living fuck out of a bunch of characters for the treatment of him. And I'm serious. Like, every fucking time people were like, nah, we're not gonna listen to what he has to say. He's just a fucking asshole. Blah, 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 blah. He's just some British guy who's an asshole. Blah, blah, blah. Every time, every time, every fucking time, every fucking time, he was right, he was right, he was right, every time. Well, I'm going to say this about the, the Stargate series. Mm. The best part about the Stargate series was it launched the career of one Amanda Tapping. Well, who knew? Which, Amanda Tapping. And if you don't know who Amanda Tapping is... I don't know. Have you seen the series Sanctuary? Oh, her, yeah. I don't know who that is. Played Helen Magnus. I didn't care for she's, her either in Stargate. She's a fantastic actress. Like, I she's thought. fine and whatnot, but at the same time, I didn't care for her because I feel like the episodes I did see her in, she was constantly shown as either being crazy or weak, or she was constantly well, getting captured. Well, and that's the thing, you kind of have to start from the beginning of Stargate to see the genius behind some of the characters, because they're, they go through various storylines throughout the series. Each character kind of has their own sort of story arc that goes on, and um, so you kind of have to watch from the beginning to actually um, see the, the good parts of them, whereas they do have some issues, and every show has plot holes. You yeah, know? every show has plot um, holes, but I mean, Jesus Christ, Stargate Atlantis, or not Atlantis, damn it, I haven't seen Atlantis. Stargate Universe, the plot holes in that shit were... And the thing is, like, a lot of the plot holes got fixed, and a lot of things got, you know, um, squeaked out and fixed and whatnot, and, but there was just so many more that kept happening, and I honestly got tired of watching people fuck. 
and it's like yeah. I, I'm sorry, I'm I'm I like sex. Don't get me wrong, I like sex, but I was tired of fucking seeing this fake ass emotionless. Let's just fuck because we're on TV and we gotta fuck. Yeah, it was so dumb. Um. As for other great sci-fi shows, mm. Sanctuary is one of them. I really enjoyed it. Mm. Um, um, actually, I think that's all I can really think of from the actual sci-fi channel. Yeah, um, for fa fandoms. We'll how, into fandoms. How long have we been going on the fandom we're train? Only 15 I mean, on the video minutes. train. Okay, we're only 15 minutes. Then I'm going to... Do you want to launch into your favorite fandoms first? Okay, my Things favorite fandoms... Let's see, we've got Naruto. I'm going to go with anime just for a little bit because that's mostly what I'm thinking about right now. Anime, and Dragon Ball Z. Sailor Moon. Um, Sailor Moon's so One good. Piece. I am going to clarify. These are fandoms that we will read fanfiction of. Yeah. I might not read fanfiction for Sailor Moon, though. Because people get weird oh. with that shit. I have seen some shit. I have seen some shit, motherfucker, with Rini, Sailor Moon's daughter. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I would if there was some tuxedo mask action. Right? Tuxedo mask, Cause... yeah. I I'm so dumb when it comes when it came to like Sailor Moon and stuff. I had I had this uh, Sailor Scout who was Sailor Earth before I really found out um, that Darian was supposed to be quote unquote Sailor Earth, but not really a Sailor <laughs> Scout, obviously. But he is the king of Earth, and I basically ended up making her Darian's sister, and... Um... Oh, drama. Speaking of Sailor Moon... Mm. As a kid, I actually had Sailor Moon videotapes. I did too, and I had Dragon Ball Z videotapes, plus I had a Sailor Moon locket. And it played I, fucking music when she transformed. I actually... Card I had Dragon... I had... I had Dragon Ball, um... Videos too. I had Dragon Ball. But I had I, a lot of Dragon Ball uh, videos, and then I had a lot of Dragon Ball movies. But then I also had a lot, a lot, a lot of Dragon Ball Z yeah. movies. I had like all thirteen movies that were out at the time. There's like way more I, now. I kind of feel like the fact that I had tapes for Sailor Moon was probably a red flag to my mother that I was gay. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I really enjoyed the show. I need to actually go back and watch it, and I'm excited for the um, new version. Sailor Moon Crystal, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of put off by how fucking skinny and anorexic they made the characters look. Yeah, a lot of people were griping about the way that, that they drew the characters. Because their faces didn't look right, their fa and they were they very thin. They were so skinny, and I was like, I didn't know I was watching Fashion Week in France. Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. Shit, even those bitches have so meat. This was, well, yeah. it was ridiculous, and I'm like, um... Why did why did they why did they feel the need to change the art style so drastically? No but way. when they when they dub it in English, I will watch it. Yeah, me too. I, I like I said, this goes back to things we said in previous videos. I can't sit there and watch fucking subtitles. Then mm -hmm. I miss the entire I show. I'm too spazzy. Can't pay attention to both at once. Exactly, exactly. Um, let's see other fandoms. I definitely love Disney movies. Um, uh, let's see. Um. Disney movies, I'm very cautious about with, as far as um, fix of though. Uh, yeah, Fifth people get people get I creepy heard... with that shit. I I, I, I reference a shit. I reference an Aladdin yeah. genie fiction that I read once. That was really no, fucking... no, no. Oh, uh, Fast and Furious. I will read those fan fictions till the cows come home. Um, I didn't actually know there were fan fictions of that. You didn't know there there are so many Brian Dom fan fictions. You don't even know. You don't even know. Um, I definitely will read Hannibal fan fictions. Uh, they're oh, more in a minute. Better. In a minute, fuck. I will read all kinds of Hannibal will fiction. Yeah, that, God that. dang. Um, let's see, X Men. Particularly if it's, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I if if I read Nightcrawler fan fiction, I'm never really fucking nice about it. I'm always like, just bitch, trust you, my man. I have a weird thing for um, Logan Gambit fan fiction. <gasps> It's really yes. strange. It's really I odd. Weird thing. I found this one fucking fan fiction right after the movies came out between Logan and uh, Rogue, and it was actually really damn good. 
you know, I and, and it's. Fan fiction, by the way, also Weasley Twins. Weasley Twins. There's a fan fiction I'm looking for. If you guys know about it, maybe you've seen it. I think it was on either adultfanfiction.net or fanfiction.net. I know it wasn't on Amoeba because I haven't watched Amoeba, or I never found it on Amoeba. I was, I saw it before I ever got Amoeba. Basically, it was the Weasley Twins end up double teaming this girl who. She got drunk and with it was some of the girls in her dorm, and they were drinking fire whiskey, and it was literally called fire whiskey, and I couldn't fucking remember what it's called. I don't know what it was called. It stresses me out. Oh, hey, also, did you find that fan fiction, that Dragon Ball Z fan fiction, where Gohan got turned into a girl? It's called Thursday Morning or something like that. I will say two two things real quick before you continue. Mm. One, Harry Potter fiction. I'm iffy about. There's some really fucked up shit in there. I will not read. In incest between uh, the Weasley parents and their children. I won't read that. I will not read Ginny Weasley and anybody else. I don't really care for her. Um, I like Draco and Harry for some weird reason. I don't I'm, know why. I'm actually more inclined towards Draco and Ron. Not nah, nah. Um, on the other hand, with Dragon Ball Z, where that's concerned. Give me Piccolo, give me Piccolo, give me Piccolo, give me Piccolo. Anything? Me Piccolo and Gohan. Also, hey guys, if you want to write fanfiction for us involving, you know, characters we have, I do lend out my characters. As I mentioned in my birthday video, um, my internet sibling, um, he wrote a fanfiction using a pair of twins of mine, and it was pretty fantastic. Yeah, we may do, like... We could do like a contest if our community gets big enough yeah. to where we like um, give give an example for a character mm -hmm. and who we would like to see them with and see if you guys can come up with I'm some all stories. Like, seriously, seriously. I like Goku with any male that he can get his hands on because Goku's too childish for my taste. I kind of think Goku's kind of a secret like closet slut, but like. I don't know. I feel like Goku um, would be pulled into a lot of situations like that just because of how much of an airhead he is. Yeah. And there I said it. Gohan's, Goku's an, an airhead. Goku, Goku's an airhead. Okay. Continue with your fandom lists because okay. mine is kind of long. Okay. Um, this video is going to be really long because we're already at 22 minutes, but that's okay. Um, we'll put annotations or something or maybe something in the description saying where we actually start getting into our fan fictions or not fan fictions or our, our fan fandoms. There we go. Um, another fandom I have is, let's see, the, I'm, I'm not really into um, Vampire Diaries, but I do like Klaus, and I do like the other brother, not Stefan. Damon. God, Damon. I love yeah, Damon. 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 Oh, Damon the funny. things I would do to that man. <laughs> Ian Summerholder. Oh, my oh, fucking oh, God. Oh. Yeah, Ian Summerholder. Um, I would climb him uh, like a fucking tree. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm into a lot of music fan fiction sometimes, but sometimes it's just so much the same shit over and over again. Um, I don't really care to read lesbian fan fiction unless it's really good and it's really, you know, emotional and you can tell that they actually love each other, blah blah blah. I'm but, not a fan of I'm not a fan of lesbian fan fiction either. I'm very rarely a fan of, you know, male female fan fiction. Just cause I like uh, at least one, fan fiction. you know, I at least like there to be one penis in there somewhere, mm -hmm. preferably more than one. That's just <laughs> me. Um, uh, I actually am kind of weird. I like Transformers fan fiction when it's like robots on robots and weird shut up, stop looking at me like that. <laughs> um, yeah, that, I, I gotta say, I love you to death, but that is weird. I also like... I'm, I'm telling you all the things right now. I also like physical porn fiction. I also like, um... I have to say I like tentacle porn right fiction, too. There's not enough supernatural tentacle porn fiction. Supernatural as in Supernatural the show? Yeah, it's in the show. There's like four fics ever Awkward. that I've ever oh, seen. Wolf, Teen Wolf, Walking Dead. Let's... Um, I've... Avengers fanfiction, Loki, I'm all about that, Loki. Tom Hiddleston, Tom Hiddleston, sweet mother of God, Tom fucking Hiddleston. I love him. I love him. Um, if you have any fiction where 
you know, Tom Hiddleston kind of a dominant, or even if he's a sub, um, if you have it male on male, if you have male on female, uh, if you have gender bending, I'm into gender bending sometimes. Um, I'm into gender bending because there are certain female characters that I like, but that I wouldn't actually do because they're female. Rather than have a penis. So, yeah, I'd rather there be another penis in there somewhere. Sue me. Um, I just would. Dragon uh, Age Inquisition fanfiction. If you've got some fanfiction between Varric and, you know, the main character, sup. If you've got some fiction between Varric and Bull, or Dorian, Varric and Bull, or, you know, hey, sup. All of the here. above. All of the above. Um... To a degree, I've read some Linkin Park fanfiction that's been pretty good, but I don't really care for it. I'm not really into band fanfiction. I'm into movies and, you know, anime and stuff like that. Um, if, if you write anything with Jared Leto, I will read it if it's will. like... Well, actually, I preface that. I prefer a gallon guy, as I said before. Yeah, um, yeah I will most likely read it. Um, as long as you don't get, like, too out there with it. Things that go in the bathroom stay there. Please. Yeah, no, seriously, I'm not into, we're not into scat, we're not into piss play, we're not into enemas, or anything like that, that's disgusting. <laughs> um, let's see, fandoms, other fandoms, um... I just found a list for 20 craziest fandoms on, on, uh, Tumblr. Yeah, I, I actually, Okay, seriously, I, actually... I hate... And will not read Spongebob fanfiction. If you send me Spongebob fanfiction, I literally will tear you apart in a video. And I'm sorry, but I will. Sorry, not it's sorry. Also, weird. Sherlock. Spongebob. Sherlock. Doctor Who. Fucking Hannibal, obviously. Harry Potter, like we said. I hate Glee. If you fucking try to make me read Glee, I literally will tear you apart again. Teen Wolf, Avengers, um, Lord of the Rings, and The Hobbit. I don't do Star Trek. Unless we're talking about newer age Star Trek. And then I'm like... I'm gonna watch some Spock and Mr. or Captain Who? Kirk? I'm not. Yeah, Kirk, Kirk and Mr. Sp there you go. Oopsie. I done goofed. Um, <laughs> Mr. Kirk. <laughs> Merlin, I wouldn't mind, but at the same time, I'm yes. not really into it. If you fucking send me, I swear to God, if you fucking send me One Direction fanfiction, I will tear you apart. I will blast okay. your shit. I, I cannot you stand send it. I cannot stand it. If you send her One Direction or Justin Bieber fanfiction, I will tear you apart. Oh, I swear to God, don't you ever fucking put me near motherfucking Justin Bieber fanfiction. Because if you fucking make me read that, I, I will, will let embarrass it you. I will embarrass you. I'm sorry. I will... I'm sorry, not sorry, but Justin Bieber, One Direction, all those little fucking fuckers are stupid, pathetic, and useless. And I'm sorry, they are not good role models, especially considering, oh, I don't know, Harry Styles just got charged with rape. Or uh, has been accused of raping one of his minor fans. Um, Justin Bieber has assaulted his fans. And plus, I'm sorry, when you think you're so high and mighty that you can run around in a man diaper and a fucking onesie, I and, and you you make Orlando Bloom slap you. I'm sorry, I I'm would, not gonna like you. I would literally print out Hunger Games. The, I would literally print print out your fake and light it on fire. Yeah. Um, also, we'd, we'd, we'd light it on fire on camera. Mind you, you'd be looking at me through my back door. Um, the Joss Whedon fanverse, Firefly, fucking Angel, even Buffy. You know, mm, Angel. Homestuck. I hate Homestuck. I hate Homestuck. Don't fucking bring me near old Homestuck. Avatar, The Last Airbender, maybe. I don't really care for it, though. It's not my thing. Um, I love the show. It's so good. I, I need really to, watch... to watch it. It's, it's kind of one of those oh. things of... I really don't care for it because, for one thing, my brother is super fucking obsessed with it. Oh my god, you and I need to actually sit down and watch it because it, it <gasps> must be a thing. Time fan fiction. I swear, I just need to go to my Netflix. If I just go to my Netflix and look at my show list. Okay, I, I will preface mm. this. W while Bleach. you're going to your... Say that again? Bleach. Uh, mm. The anime Bleach. Um, I'm not gonna... It's not really a fan fiction thing or anything, but Good Eats, I have literally lately gotten a massive fucking crush on Alton Brown. I'm not asking yeah. for fanfiction for that or anything. I'm just saying. <laughs> that, would, that would be so weird. It would be so weird. I would be, that would be too weird for me. Too weird for me. That that would be a is an instance where the phrase, I have the most awkward boner right now, would, would kind of fit. Probably fit, yeah. Um, there's psychopaths for animes. Um, Bill Nye. I don't want to see fanfiction for Bill Nye, dear God, but I loved Bill Nye as a kid. 
Uh, Bill Nye, the science guy. Yeah, Bill Nye's a ship. I guess I Transformers. <laughs> if you've got Transformers fan fiction, like the GC. Okay. I, I will just say this. I find Transformers fan fiction to be weird. But. <laughs> There are a lot of people who like it, so Agents you are not alone, Glitchy. Fan fiction wouldn't be too bad, but mostly if it's fan fiction involving original characters and the one little geek guy of Simon and Simmons and Fitz. Fitz and Simmons or whatever. Yeah, Fitz. His name was Fitz. I liked him. I really liked him a lot. Um, my taste in... Oh, uh, I'm not gonna lie. You're gonna laugh at me. Phoenix, you're gonna fucking judge me, but what else? Okay. Um, <laughs> WWE fanfiction, wrestling fanfiction. Please, dear God, if you have some Kane or Undertaker or the both of them, you know, double teaming a female or a male, another male, if you have some Jeff Hardy shit, lol. Yo, if you want to take some of my wrestling characters, gimme. Sup, I'm here. I, I'll tell you I, about them. I. <laughs> Broken. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Um. Okay. First of all, what the fuck? Wrestling fan fiction. <laughs> Second of all, Mortal Kombat fan sweaty fiction. Men. I can get behind. Hot sweaty men in tight, tight little tiny clothes. It makes me. Yeah, but it's so. Shit out of each other. But it's so fake. I don't care. I literally actually did go to a wrestling show once. And you know what? It's actually not that fucking fake. A lot of the you know drama well, and the silly shit is is fake. Yes. But, but it's set up a, like ahead of time. They actually know who's gonna win before they actually go. I don't care. <laughs> it takes all the fun out of it. I don't care. Now you have now UFC fan fiction. I mean UFC. That's a whole nother ball game. Dude, there was like that... one mother effort from UFC that I was like obsessed with for a while. I don't remember his name. <laughs> that's he was a big motherfucker. And he's bald, and I think he was like supposed to be Asian or some shit like that, but I don't really remember. Oh, Underworld fanfiction. Um, any any fanfiction with Tony Cran, really? Um, I was really, I'm, I really do like Tony Cran. Um, let's see. Like I said, Hunger Games. Um, GI Joe, mostly with Snake because I uh, Hellboy also, but mostly with Snake Eyes because I really like. Ray Park and Ron Perlman, and I think that neither one of those actors get as much attention as they need. And honestly, to be perfectly frank, neither does Tony Coran. They, I have seen his dick in a movie called Red Road. Oh my God, Phoenix, the dick is real on that motherfucker. It is huge. You know who I hear? Is a natural ginger. You know who I hear has a fucking real as fuck dick? Mm. It's fucking amazing mm. that I've heard. And other celebrities say the same thing, but I've never actually seen it because he's never actually gotten Liam Neeson. I have heard that seriously. I have. Heard I've heard. That. I've heard that man is hung with a bull elephant. Like I literally, I have seen. I have. I've not seen it. Um, I have heard that. I've. I've seen. You know, other actors say that. Yeah, he does have a huge like, fucking dog. And Bones fan fiction, Charmed. Um. Charmed, I could get behind, and I will just say, even though Liam Neeson is old enough to be my father slash grandfather, I'm not sure how old he is, I would do him. Oh, let's look that up right now. You wanna know who my grandpa, my gilf is? My gilf is grandpa I'd like to fuck? Who? John fucking Connery. Oh, you know who else? Patrick Stewart. I don't normally Patrick go for blonde. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I don't normally go for wait. bald men, but go. Oh, Patrick Stewart. Okay, I know who that. Wait, what? Picard? Yes. Okay. That's like, I'm terrible. I should have said, I should have said, uh, I should have said Professor Xavier. <gasps> yeah. Can I just say, oh my god. Oh, I just forgot his name. Oh, Liam Neeson, by the way, is 63. And he's 6'4". He's the same age as my grandfather. <laughs> How old is Sean Connery? Let's find out. Sean Connery. Oh god. He could literally be <gasps> my Sean Connery is 84! Sean Connery is 84! You're robbing the grave, not even- fucking... SHUT THE FUCK UP! Oh, dude, he has a brother, I didn't even know. He has a brother named Neil Connery. Wow! Neil Connery's not too bad looking. He's not nearly as bad as Sean. I meant Sean. 
This show just turned into robbing the grave with Gucci. Shut the fuck up. And you know what's you know what's really fucked up? I really didn't care for Sean Connery when he was younger. Like he had a bod and whatnot, but his eyebrows were so thick and black and like I don't know, something about his face just bothered me. But when he got to, you know, about the time for entrapment and like uh Highlander and whatnot, then I was all like, woof. I did like a weird hip thrust, chest thrust thing. You know who is or was attractive when he was younger, no. but is not attractive anymore? Mm -hmm. Clint Eastwood. He was it's... fucking gorgeous, and his kid is. <clears throat> James McAvoy. I would... Why do I, I would fucking get this bitch's name? But I would fucking McAvoy. dip a scone in Clint Eastwood's son. God damn it. <laughs> oh, also, um. What is his name? Oh my god, he played James Bond for a while. Um. Pierce Brosnan? Pierce Brosnan's son, Sean Brosnan. <laughs> I love how I said it, and you immediately agreed. I immediately knew who you were talking about. <gasps> Oh my god, his child and him. One in the front, one in the back. I'm good to go. Double team that bitch. Stuffed me like an Oreo. Mm, mm, mm. I broke him again. Yay! No, James McAvoy, for real. For real. James McAvoy. No. And Michael Fassbender. I have seen Michael Fassbender's dick. I have seen it. I will take that all day long. Mm. And twice on Sunday. Oh, uh, let's see. Like I said, um, Doctor Who. I'm all about David Tennant. I don't really care for Eccleston, or I did like Eccleston, but I do not like Matt Smith, and I don't like the newest Doctor. I can't stand him. And if you try to make me read fan fiction with the newest Doctor, I'm a vomit. I will That's find gross. you. I will hunt That's you down. Gross. I will hunt you down. I will find you. I will open your mouth, touch your head back like a fucking bird looking up at the sky, and then we'll vomit down your throat. Okay, now, I'm gonna say this and Glitchy's gonna just fucking beat me for this, but what? if you write her a fanfiction with Peter Capaldi <laughs> picking her up in an unmarked white van, I will laugh so hard, I will pee on Stop. you from here. Shut the fuck up. Don't you make, don't you make our fucking viewers do that. No, no, no. I swear to God. This will get, this will get Phoenix killed. This will get him killed. Just saying. It will, and I will love every minute of it because it will be glorious. This will get his life ended. <laughs> Just saying. Also, um, the- Bring it on. Oh, Evan Peters, Evan Peters. Don't you wait oh. your sword, dagger, whatever. Your weapon, Ooh. I mean. Evan Peters, you have my attention. <laughs> Evan Peters <laughs> is definitely- Gorgeous, and I liked him as Quicksilver. Um, Speaking of Evan Peters, he's going to play the villain in the new season of American Horror Story. I've been hearing that. Also, um, for uh, this is a really unknown actor for a lot of people, but Jason Fleming is one of my all-time favorite actors. He played Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde in League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. He was also in Jungle Book. <gasps> Can I just say right fucking now that in Jungle Book, I did Ooh. not know that the chick who plays Circe was... The Jungle Book chick? Wait, I'm okay. confused. Okay. Who is- what- what- what now? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cersei. Lannister. Okay. Lena I'm Hayden. literally- yeah, Lena Headey. Here, I'm, I'm literally gonna send you a, a picture over Skype. Cop, or a link over Skype. Lena Headey literally played the young love inch- Whoa, that link is effing ridiculous. <laughs> The love interest. It doesn't even work. Uh, hold on, I'll try it again. I'll try it again. Shut up. Shut the fuck up before I kill you. That didn't work. That didn't work at all. Hold on, let's try this again. That was ridiculous. Here, that one works. You, you ought to show our viewers that fucking link. I'm trying. Hold on. It's not... Oh my god. It doesn't even. It, it doesn't even fit on what my what screen. <laughs> okay. Um. There's no way to show you guys this freaking link other than if we posted it in the comments or something or in our description. It wouldn't, be, it wouldn't even, it fit, wouldn't in even fit in the description. It's like this. It is literally, oh my god, if I, hold on, let me like scroll back up and copy paste it because oh, I don't god. know what happened. I don't know what happened. Technically, oh I don't know what the fuck happened with this link, but hold on, I'm literally going to scroll all the way up and then put it in a Word document. Or well, I use Atlantis Word program. Um, oh my god, I can't see. Breathe, motherfucker, breathe. Oh. I'm literally missing all of your flails and shit because I have... 
technical difficulties, guys. I'm so sorry. You can hear him dying laughing. I'm literally scrolling up, and I'm still- I've been scrolling up this entire time we've been talking, and it still is not fucking done copying. Oh my god, Alex, this is so long. Where's the end? I didn't even- know. Oh, there it is. I found it. Okay. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, okay. scrolling and scrolling. Copy and scrolling. selection. I'm gonna open it in a new document on Atlantis Word Processor. And we're gonna see how many words- Oh my god! It is literally 176 characters. Wow. That is insane. I don't know what the that, fuck that, that was. Oh my god, I can breathe insane. again. Oh, you can breathe that again? Can you? Are you sure about yes. that? Yes. You sure about that? You sure? I think so, for now. Sorry, you guys missed all the flailing and the craziness, because, like I said, I had to... <laughs> Just give it a few minutes, it'll happen again. But yeah, um, that link was shit. Um, we should probably link a lot of the actors that we've been mentioning. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> oh, um... Okay, let's see. Movies that he has been in. Let me just go to his, like, IMBD. Jason Fleming movies. The English Story Gentleman was one of the first ones I ever really saw him in that I knew who he was, that I was actively going to seek him out. Um, he was in X-Men First Class as Azazel, and when I saw him as Azazel, I was quite thrilled by this. Um... No, actually, sorry, I take that back. One of my very first movies that I ever saw him in was Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. And, oh, he had my heart from then on. I just discovered something interesting. Hmm. Did you know that <gasps> Lena Haiti... There's a lot of shit coming out. Or Lena, Lena, Lena Haiti? Haiti. Mm. I can't fucking say her name. It fucking fucks me up. Um, is actually... <gasps> she actually starred in the... Short-lived TV version of Terminator, the Sarah Connor Chronicles, as Sarah Connor. I vaguely remember that. Okay, other actors that I'm really into and I will read fanfiction for. Tim Roth, Stellan Skarsgård, Younger Days, James McAvoy, Clive Owen, Michael Fassbender, uh, don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. I'm reading, I'm looking at a list, and I just saw that a bunch of my people were on here. Uh, Stephen Waddington from The Invitation Game. I might read. I will read Ben Kingsley fiction, but mostly when he's younger. Uh, ben Kingsley. David Thewlis, who played Professor Lupin in Harry Potter. Theo James from Divergent, because he's got a jaw on his oh, lips. God. Liam Neeson, Batman. I will. Uh, Eddie Redmayne. Sean Bean. Don't kill him off in the fucking fan fiction. I'm so sick of seeing that motherfucker die. Uh, he dies in everything. He really does. Uh, Ralph Fiennes, Younger Days, of course. Um, Alan Rickman played Professor. Oh State, man! But he is. Who, been who the fuck the plays? Stuff. Who the fuck plays Sir Malcolm Murray in fucking Penny Dreadful? I will also read Domino Gleason. He played one of the brothers, one of the uh, Weasley brothers. Rupert Grant, Daniel Radcliffe to a degree. Bill Nighy, Younger Days. Tom Hollander. He's so short though. Oh my god. Um, I'm trying to think. I will not read Jamie Campbell Bower stuff. I don't really care for him. Uh, Jude Law, uh, definitely uh, Jude Law. Uh, Jamie Campbell Bower and I have an interesting relationship, and I will <laughs> leave that ambiguous for now. Okay, let's see. Um, actually, uh, oh shit, Jesus fuck. Um, Jason Fleming has been in quite a lot of films, but usually he's often. Um, side characters or something like that. Um, like Alice in Wonderland. I saw Alice in Wonderland. Oh, yeah, he was in this goofy ass like TV movie version of Alice in Wonderland, and he was. Uh, it's not really something to wor worry about. Um, he was Sir Jack, aka the Knave of Hearts, otherwise known as Cad, in the real world. Apparently, he was in Clueless, which is some sort of short as Harry. Oh, he was in the Red Violin. Oh my god, he was in the Red Violin, and you get to see him fucking and all kinds of stuff, and it's... Oh my god, it's amazing. What um, is our time up to? Oh, Jesus, I don't know. Because, uh, we're gonna have... 47 seconds. Because we're gonna have to do another video so I can talk about my fucking fandoms, because you <laughs> are so oh. all over the place. He was in Alive and Kicking as a gay man who, um, ended up getting cancer, or AIDS. AIDS, sorry, AIDS, because he got Capote spots and stuff, and it was, it's really a touching film, and it's really good, and you do get to see him fuck. Um, but we're gonna stop this here, and we're gonna go to another video, so, bye! You, well, you can keep going if you'd like, I'm, I'm just saying. 44 minutes. Nobody's gonna fucking oh, watch 44. Oh, 44. Oh, 44. Oh, fuck. Yeah, uh. 44. So, uh, 
Um, like I said, watch the video, listen for my stuff, and then we'll do a video dedicated to all of Phoenix's stuff. And I'll probably yeah. pop in a few of my own comments, obviously, because I can't shut up. Um, if you want to leave us fanfiction, if you want to write us fanfiction, if you want to hear about some of our characters, let us know in the comments below. Please rate, subscribe, like us if you like us. If you don't, go on, go let us down. know. <laughs> Let us know what you want to see. If you want to see us like shut up and not do so many long videos, uh, no promises, but <laughs> it's stream of consciousness. Good luck. Yeah. All right, bye. Bye.